Gonorrhea is a major public health challenge today because there are 106 million new infections every year that affect men, women, and infants worldwide. And there are hardly any treatment options available. We are at the edge of not having effective treatment for, to combat common infections, as common as pneumonia or otitis. And we are also at the edge of not having what modern medicine brought us, treatment of cancer, transplants, and intensive care, for instance. So this problem concerns all of us. Neisseria gonorrhea, the organism that causes gonococcal infections, is what we term a superbug. It is an organism that develops resistance rapidly to almost every class of antibiotics that is now available. And uh, not only that, it, it retains the memory of these, uh, this resistance. Untreated gonorrhea or resistance to gonococcal infections causes a large number of health complications, including ectopic pregnancies or um, spontaneous abortions, which could lead to increased maternal deaths in uh, pregnant women, uh, severe eye infections in infants born to women with untreated gonorrhea that could lead to blindness, and also um, an increase in infertility among men and women. The good news is that the solutions are in our hands. It is about how we govern, how we consume, and how we produce. So governments should commit to comprehensive national plans to combat antimicrobial resistance. Uh, prescribers should prescribe antimicrobials only when needed. The patients, consumers, they should use the antimicrobials for the full course appropriately. And those dealing with food producing animals should use antimicrobials in these food producing animals only for therapeutic purposes.